Have you ever wondered why it feels so good to give back? Well, Jessica Blotter from Kind Traveler will be talking about why it feels so good to travel kindly in our next session. Did you ever have a craving to do more than travel while on vacation and positively impact the places you visit? Well, Jessica is going to give us 10 impactful tips on how to become a force for good when you travel, creating a more conscious, mindful, and purpose-filled vacation that leaves you feeling complete. You'll also discover from a psychological and physical perspective why making positive choices that reflect kindness to yourself, others, and the environment actually feels good. Join us for this illuminating presentation designed for a better you and a better world. Jessica Blotter is a journalist, speaker, advocate for the greater good, and CEO and co-founder of Kind Traveler. Kind Traveler is the first give plus get hotel booking platform that transforms travelers into a force for good that benefits communities, animals, and the environment. As a journalist with a heart for travel, sustainability, social impact, and animal welfare, Jessica has had articles published in Fast Company, CBS Los Angeles, Hospitality Design, One Green Planet, and many, many more. As a speaker, she's presented on the stages of TEDx Culver City and regularly contributes to hospitality associations and travel events. How many of you have ever wanted to do more than travel and positively impact the places that you travel to? Or perhaps you desired more feel-good feelings around your vacation experiences, the kind that left you with a greater sense of purpose and well-being. Today I'll be sharing 10 impactful tips to help you create a more purpose-filled vacation designed for a better you and a better world. You'll also discover the positive physical and psychological benefits that take place when you travel kindly. But before we go into the 10 ways, I'd like to give you a little bit of background on how my journey to discover how to travel kindly actually began. Back in 2012, my partner and I were winding through the back roads of the humid Belizean jungle on a bus with other travelers heading to the historic Mayan ruins. But mile after mile, village after village, stood the most heartbreaking of poverty-stricken communities. Families lived in shacks near polluted swamps, women laundered clothes in dirty waters, and emaciated dogs roamed the streets. Staring from the window, the bus had never been so quiet. How were we supposed to get excited about visiting the upcoming attractions and simply ignore the devastation around us? Well, we had an experience that changed us. The bus stopped at a local convenience store and the rib protruding dogs approached us begging for food with eyes of despair. We simply made a choice to help. We bought dry dog food to feed the dogs and unintentionally inspired all the other travelers on the bus to do the same. We marveled at how easy it was to inspire the other travelers. They just needed a catalyst. The other thing we noticed was how the entire sentiment of the bus changed to a sense of joy and happiness knowing that we try to make things better in some small way. It was from this turning point in Belize that we discovered that a new perspective on travel was needed to create more purposeful and meaningful travel experiences that consider the well-being of individuals as well as the planet. This experience led us to use our entrepreneurial skills and passion for travel to create KindTraveler.com, the world's first socially conscious give and get hotel booking platform that transforms travelers into a force that benefits local and global communities, the environment, and animals. In creating this new way to travel, we discovered along the way that when you travel kindly and serve others or the environment, it's possible to create a more optimal sense of personal well-being as well. Traveling kindly is made up of three core pillars that include giving back, making responsible travel decisions, and inspiring personal well-being. From here, we will explore 10 ways that you can travel kindly. Let's explore the first pillar, giving back. The most immediate and direct way to give back is through financial means. 
Furthermore, did you know that giving in the form of a charitable donation or volunteering has been scientifically proven to be one of humanity's highest hopes for creating happiness? Well, when you give a financial donation to a charity or volunteer, the region of the brain associated with pleasure, social connection, and trust is activated. Not only does this make us feel happier, but it also has been proven to make us healthier by reducing stress while evoking a greater sense of gratitude. One easy way to give back is to use Kind Traveler to book hotels. Travelers give a $10 nightly donation to a local charity that positively impacts the place they are traveling to or to a favorite global charity. As a reward for the donation, they unlock exclusive hotel rates and are also filled up with a greater sense of purpose and fulfillment knowing their travel dollars are serving the greater good. 100% of donations are given back to the charity partners. Another way you can give back is through volunteering. Dedicating just one or a few days of your vacation to volunteering can have an incredible impact on your levels of happiness and fulfillment while also creating a lasting memory that positively impacts others. Charities on the Kind Traveler website offer tips on how travelers can get involved and do good for the day. Look for opportunities such as beach cleanups, helping out in a local soup kitchen, or bringing supplies needed to support local schools or animal shelters. There are other ways you can give back without making an actual charitable donation or volunteering. This takes us to the next pillar of traveling kindly, which is centered around making responsible travel decisions. Knowledge is power, and when you're educated to know the difference between decisions that could positively or negatively impact communities, it's possible to feel a greater sense of empowerment. In this next pillar of making responsible travel decisions, we will explore how you can travel kindly and benefit local communities, the environment, and animals. Here are a few ways you can support local communities when you travel. Choose activities and experiences that positively impact the local communities. One of my favorite places to explore and book social impact experiences is visit.org. For example, you can book a tour that helps preserve Costa Rican wildlife and benefit the Jaguar Rescue Foundation. Another tip is to always eat local. Dine in locally, run cafes and restaurants, and buy locally grown produce. Avoid eating at chain restaurants. Another tip is to buy local. When buying souvenirs on your travels, look for local and handmade souvenirs. Keep an eye out for souvenirs made by local artisans. Always consider local hotels that are committed to giving back to the community. Another organization I love that supports local communities is Pack for a Purpose. Simply use a small amount of space in your luggage to pack supplies needed by community projects around the world. In our next pillar in making responsible travel decisions, let's look at ways you can be kind to the environment. Trash disposal is often problematic in developing countries, and as kind travelers, we must all work to keep the environment clean. Follow these tips to travel kindly and feel good on your next trip. Try going plastic-free. Bring reusable bags to replace plastic versions. Bring your own refillable water bottle. We love Hydro Flask. Just because you can't bring water on the plane doesn't mean that you can't bring your own water bottle and fill it up once you're past the gate. Avoiding the purchase of plastic water bottles in the terminal as well as on the plane. Always sit down at restaurants rather than ordering takeout to avoid excess plastic. Another thing you can do to reduce your carbon footprint is to choose local or public transportation or better yet, walk or rent bikes. One way scuba divers can help protect our ocean planet is to ask local dive centers if they participate in Project AWARE's Dive Against Debris program. Divers can help remove undersea litter and report results to drive future legislation. Project Aware is also a charity on the Kind Traveler platform where a $10 donation will unlock exclusive hotel rates. Lastly, you can learn more about how to reduce your carbon footprint by exploring the Leave No Trace website and its seven principles to enjoy our natural world in a sustainable way. 
Tip number five in our responsible travel pillar explores how you can give back to animals by making decisions that do not promote cruelty or exploitation. Across the globe, animals are suffering to keep tourists entertained. Avoid elephant rides and animal performances and circuses. Elephant rides and performances may be sold as harmless fun, but investigators from Animal Defenders International have revealed severe abuse behind the scenes. Another tip is to avoid photo opportunities using animals as props. The wildlife trade is a multi-billion dollar industry where animals are snatched from their natural habitats and held in captivity for various purposes, including for pets and photographic habitats. Always avoid swimming with dolphins and wild orca shows. It is proven that captivity causes dolphins and whales psychological suffering, but even with widespread opposition, some zoos around the world continue to acquire marine life through controversial drive hunts. Always avoid the purchasing of products made of animal parts such as ivory and furs as well as consuming shark fin soup. Buying these fuels extinction rates and needless suffering. The third pillar in Traveling Kindly is about how you can enhance personal well-being through travel. When it comes to feeling good when you travel, alongside giving back and making decisions that leave you feeling empowered, being kind to yourself and optimizing mental and physical health should be at the top of your list. Americans don't take the vacation days they should and in turn suffer from stress, a leading cause of heart disease and stroke, the number one cause of all deaths globally. In fact, in one of the largest research studies by Project Time Off, it was revealed that 55% of American workers left vacation days unused in 2015, a steady decline that has continued since 2000. But taking vacations has been proven to lead to higher levels of happiness, better physical health and well-being, spark creativity, and improve relationships. So my sixth tip to feel good and travel kindly is to capitalize on the science of vacationing. Did you know it's been scientifically proven that planning a vacation and anticipating an upcoming trip actually boost happiness levels more so than the trip itself. A few ways to savor the countdown include researching the fun things you'll do, prepping a vacation playlist, and watching movies or reading books that are about your upcoming destination. Tip number seven is knowing that three-day weekends can bring as much pleasure as longer trips. Since the pleasure of a vacation comes from three sources, anticipation, experience, and reminiscence, and the most pleasure comes from anticipation, planning more frequent but shorter vacays can maximize enjoyment. Number eight is about spending on experience versus things. Spending money on experiences versus material objects has been proven in recent research from San Francisco State University to lead to higher levels of happiness. The thrill of purchasing things fade, but the joy and memories of experiences last a lifetime. Number nine is about spending time in nature. Research states that spending time in nature has been proven to have numerous positive benefits for the body, mind, and soul. Some of its healing powers include stress relief, decreased anxiety, creative inspiration, and increased self-awareness. Make it a point to get outside and spend time in nature on your next trip if you want to feel good. And number 10 in the well-being sector is to unplug completely when you travel. Try a digital diet on your next trip to get the most out of each moment. Spend the digital free time away from your cell phones and laptops, focusing on your relationships and activities that you enjoy to get the most out of your vacations. Thank you for listening in. For more tips on how you can travel kindly and be a force for good, head on over to kindtraveler.com where you'll find me blogging or you can find us on social media at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.